Hey, it's John Chris Lucy again with Bill Melendez, one of the greatest animators of all time. Oh, thank you. Thank and you. I think we're about to watch uh, An Itch in Time, uh-huh. which is an interesting cartoon to me because when I first saw that, when I was a kid, I loved Warner Brothers cartoons better than any other cartoons. But a couple of the characters I thought weren't very good designs, like Elmer Fudd. I thought, gee, what a generic looking character. Yeah. But in this cartoon, he looks great. He looks better in this cartoon than in any other cartoon I've ever seen. And again, I got to ask Bill, why do the characters look so good in the Clampett cartoons? Like well, after Clampett left, they well, kind of changed into something else. And they're well, not as because strong. see, because Clampett didn't have any control on us. You know, he'd leave us alone. Whereas once, uh, say, Bob McKimson took over the, the unit, then he had, he was so precise that he wanted it a certain way. So it, it you know, it tied us up to, into knots right away. Well, that's really interesting right there because Bob McKimson drew better in Clampett's cartoons yeah. than he did in his own cartoons. That's right. And in his own cartoons, he, he gave all the characters little skulls and great big jaws, and they yeah. weren't as cute as they are in the Clampett no, cartoons. No, he just, he, he, well, because he... Um, so Clampett must have had something to do yeah. with controlling him from doing that you know, more realistic style that he did in his own cartoons. Great butt joke here. Look at that. Clampett delivers. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a real... <laughs> that's, a, that's a Bob Clampett joke, all right. Okay. Yeah, this is... Do you remember which scenes he did on this? Oh, no, no. This, this is uh, Ross Scribner's that's animation, Scribner. yeah. Do you remember the song in this? There'll be food around the corner. Yeah. Look at that. That's great. Whose animation is that? Is oh, this is Rod Scribner. Rod Scribner, too? Yeah, it's Rod Scribner, yeah. Yeah. These are fun to, to freeze frame. <laughs> every drawing is so weird. I know, yeah. Scribner yeah. loved wrinkles, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so you had some really funny stories about just the spirit at Warner Brothers Studio, some of the things that, I think that the gags that was, you used to pull. and That was what was great about the studio was that it was a real cartoon studio, and uh, gags never stopped, you know, against each other about everything and um, so we made it a real fun place to be it's a place where you could bore holes in the floor and drop things down with people below you and it was acceptable was it acceptable to the people who had the things drop to on everybody them? yeah <laughs> nobody ever complained or, or 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 said anything to to management about it <laughs> now, your unit was above Chuck Jones's unit, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, wasn't the attitude in his unit and Jones's unit a little bit different than Clampett's? Oh God, I made life miserable for them, and and rightly so because they were so pompous and uh, and they they referred to themselves as Unit A. Oh God, that uh, just makes me grinch when I think of that Unit A. One time, all the loudspeakers said Unit A to the projection room, Unit A to projection room. Well, by the time the Unit A got to the projection room, all of us were seated there. From we're the Clampett unit. unit. Yeah. We're Unit A. Chuck comes in and he says, I call for Unit A. We're Unit A. You're not Unit A. And then uh, Unit A starts straggling in. I says, well, they're not Unit A. Certainly, look at them. Bunch of slouchy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we, we, it was just great. Anything like that was uh, would cause right away a war of, of one kind or another. What about that hot plate story you had? Oh, yeah. I love these old drawings. These are real cartoon drawings. Who animated this? Oh, God. Looks like Izzy Ellis. No, I, I, I don't know. It's hard to say. That's Scribner there. That's right? Scribner, yeah, yeah. That, that's old Rod. I love the way Elmer yeah. looks there. It's just fantastic. Yeah, well, he was a... Rod was a, had a, a, a great, warm way of drawing. Uh, didn't, weren't you his assistant for a while bef- before you became an animator? I don't know. Yeah, I worked with Scribner. Yeah, oh yeah, he influenced me very much. He was great. What was he like as a as a oh, oh, person? Was he a funny guy? Oh, real funny and wonderful guy. He was just a good, uh, good cartoonist and a good animator. How did Scribner and uh, McKimson get along? I think kind of opposites, huh? They're opposite, but I think they got along because Rod was a, um, you know, he was uh, he wasn't rebellious against authority he was just creative and and did his thing and he just nobody questioned I didn't question it and, I, and I'm sure that whoever he w- was a director at the time accepted it too because he was so good <laughs> that 
that's Rod Scribner all over. <laughs> now, this is more like like Bob McKimson's, yeah. yeah. Do you have any Leon Schlesinger stories? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Leon was a, a great butt of our jokes all the time. But he was a good boss because he left us alone. He was the ultimate executive. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was just a very serious guy. Even when we made jokes about him up in, in the storyboards, he didn't recognize himself at all. <laughs> so we always, we always were pulling things on him, you know, making the butt of our jokes, but he never saw it. He was just great. Wasn't Porky Pig a little bit based on him? He was right, yeah. He, he loved says, Porky Pig, didn't he? Yeah, he? he says, how come we don't do Porky Pigs anymore? <laughs> he says, by God, you're right. And so right away he started, you know, doing Porky Pig stories because he was him. <laughs> Clampett told me a story once that whenever, you know, Leon didn't come around very often to yeah. look at the storyboards, but whenever they heard he was coming, they would take down every storyboard they had and put up a bunch of drawings of Porky Pig. Yeah. And he'd come in and see, oh, there's that funny Porky guy with the stutter. Yeah. Uh, you guys know what you're doing. And he'd leave. Yeah. And they'd take them all down again and yeah. do Bugs Bunny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'd go through a storyboard. As soon as he came to a Porky Pig, ah, yeah. At right, right. And he didn't even read the story. <laughs> so the guy started putting, every once in a while, they'd put up a, a porky pig pose, you know, for no reason. Had nothing to do with the story. So I like to see him do that. Uh, what I just did for you, you know. Ah, ah, yes. And he keep on, didn't read the story at all. He went to the next place where he saw a porky pig and then he was happy. Oh, boy. Well, they were great because we could really poke fun at them and they never, they never saw it. I better cut this out. I may get to like it. See this old Ross Kribner at his best. Look at him, yeah. I'll tell you, that system sure worked because these cartoons have outlasted everything else from that period. Oh, yeah. These are the most popular cartoons in history. And they're even more popular than the... The live-action characters that Warner Brothers yeah. had. Humphrey Bogart and sure, James well, Cagney. Yeah, you know, kids today don't even know who they are, but everybody knows these characters. The, there's a life to these things. that, that uh, it's, I know it's a cartoon life, but it's... Look at that front, animation. Yeah. That's great. Isn't that great? Yeah. That, I, 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 that looks like Scribner, but I'm not sure. <laughs> That's McKimson, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like him, yeah. Do you remember anything about the genesis of these cartoons? Like, would you be in on... Did Bob tell no, the stories no, to everybody you know, no. while they were being written and look no, for more gags? No, just... No, not these. These are too early, but um, later on cartoons, we would get involved in, in the, you know... Once the storyboard was done, the, the, the writer would go over it for us to tell us a story. And it was kind of great. 